Hello everyone my dear friends. Welcome to my Golden Screen Evolution YouTube channel. Join us on a thrilling journey as we revisit the iconic action movie Die Hard, released in 1988 and discover the fascinating then and now of this cinematic classic. In this video, we take a closer look at the actors. Join us now and don't miss new legend videos every day. William Atherton played the role of Richard Thornburg. Richard Thornburg is a reporter who works for the fictional news network KLAK and is one of the supporting characters in the film. Thornburg becomes involved in the events at Nakatomi Plaza when he reports on the hostage incident organized by terrorists. Thornburg is portrayed as a sensational reporter who is willing to put a lot of effort into a story. His actions add to the tension in the film and plague law enforcement officers trying to manage the crisis. The character of Richard Thornburg adds a layer of media-related suspense to the overall narrative of Die Hard. The fact that the character is not very popular in the story makes Atherton's performance memorable for the audience. Born in Connecticut in 1947, William Atherton is 76 years old. Reginald Vell Johnson played the role of Sergeant Al Powell. Powell is an LAPD officer who plays a key supporting role in the film. Throughout the film, Powell serves as John McClane's link to the outside world. Al Powell is the officer who responds to McClane's distress call when the terrorists take over Nakatomi Plaza, providing aid and support to McClane as he fights against the terrorists inside the building. Powell also becomes a critical ally of McClane in his efforts to thwart the terrorist plans. Bill Johnson's performance as Sergeant Al Powell is respected, and his character's interactions with John McClane add both depth and humanity. Born in New York in 1952, Reginald Vell Johnson is 71 years old in 2023. Bonnie Bedelia played the role of Holly Jean Nero, formerly Holly McClane. Holly is the estranged wife of John McClane, the protagonist of the film. At the beginning of the film, Holly works in Los Angeles and uses her maiden name Jean Nero. During the events of Die Hard, Holly becomes one of the hostages taken by terrorists led by Hans Gruber at a Christmas party at Nakatomi Plaza. His presence in the building becomes a personal motivation for John McClane to confront the terrorists and rescue the hostages, including his wife. The character is an important element of the film, emotionally and personally, and Bedelia's performance adds depth to the role. The relationship between John and Holly McClane is a central part of the story, providing both emotional and dramatic elements to the action. Born in New York City in 1948, Bonnie Bedelia is 75 years old in 2023. Alan Rickman played the role of Hans Gruber, the film's archenemy. Gruber is the leader of a group of terrorists who take hostages during a Christmas party at Nakatomi Plaza in Los Angeles. Gruber's primary goal is to steal $640 million in bearer bonds from the building's safe. Alan Rickman's portrayal of Hans Gruber was widely acclaimed for his subtlety and diabolical charm. Gruber is a cunning and clever antagonist and Rickman's performance added depth to the character and played a significant role in establishing him as a versatile actor skilled in both dramatic and villainous roles. Die Hard remains a classic action movie, thanks in part to memorable performances from Bruce Willis and Alan Rickman. Gruber's interactions with McClane, the film's protagonist, add to the tension and excitement of the film. Alan Rickman sadly passed away in London in 2016. Bruce Willis plays the iconic character John McClane in the Die Hard film series. McClane is a New York City police detective who finds himself embroiled in a variety of intense and often explosive situations while fighting terrorists and criminals. The first film in the series, Die Hard, is a classic action movie set on Christmas Eve. John is visiting Los Angeles to reconcile with his estranged wife, Holly, who attends a Christmas party at Nakatomi Plaza. The festivities take a deadly turn when a group of terrorists led by Hans Gruber take hostages in the building. McClane becomes the lone protagonist, trying to thwart terrorists and rescue hostages while communicating with law enforcement. The character of John McClane became iconic and the Die Hard franchise has since become a seminal part of action movie history. The character is known for his sense of humor resilience. The success of Die Hard led to the making of several sequels, cementing John McClane's status as one of the most memorable action heroes in cinema. Born in Germany in 1955, Bruce Willis is 68 years old in 2023. Alexander Godunov played the role of Karl Vresky. 
Carl is one of the terrorists in Hans Gruber's group, who took hostages during the capture of Nakatomi Plaza. He serves as one of the main antagonists in the film. Carl Vresky is a physically and formidable opponent, and his character has a personal vendetta against the protagonist, John McClane. Throughout the film, Carl is determined to eliminate McClane as part of the terrorist plan to take control of the building and carry out their heist. The character of Carl Vresky contributed to the intensity and suspense of the action scenes in the film Die. Alexander Godunov, who was born in Russia in 1949, unfortunately passed away in 1995. Devorah White played the character of Argyle. Argyle is a limousine driver hired by the film's protagonist, John McClane, when he arrives in Los Angeles. Throughout the film, he serves as both a source of comic relief and an important element in the unfolding events. Argyle spends most of the film waiting in the limousine in the parking lot of Nakatomi Plaza. As chaos unfolds inside the building, he remains unaware of the hostage situation that develops. However, he later becomes an important character in the story when he realizes the seriousness of the situation and takes action to help John McClane. Devorah White's portrayal of Argyle adds a light-hearted and humorous touch to the film in contrast with the intense action taking place at Nakatomi Plaza, while also adding to the overall tension and dynamic of the story in Die Hard. Born in California in 1965, Devorah White is 58 years old in 2023. Paul Gleason played the role of Deputy Police Chief Dwayne Robinson. The Assistant Chief is a senior officer in the Los Angeles Police Department. Throughout the film, he takes part in the intervention of law enforcement agencies against the fall of Nakatomi Plaza into the hands of terrorists. Robinson is portrayed as somewhat abrasive and skeptical of the protagonist John McClane played by Bruce Willis, who tries to thwart the terrorist plans from inside the building. Robinson's character serves as a representative of the police department's initial misunderstanding of the situation. The character of Robinson adds a layer of tension and conflict between law enforcement and John McClane highlighting the bureaucratic difficulties encountered during the crisis at Nakatomi Plaza. The depiction of Gleason contributed to the overall dynamic. Born in New Jersey in 1939, Paul Gleason unfortunately passed away in 2006. Hart Bachner played the role of Harry Ellis. Harry Ellis is a character who works for the Nakatomi Corporation and attends the Christmas party at Nakatomi Plaza, where most of the movie takes place. Ellis is portrayed as a smooth-talking, ambitious manager with a sense of arrogance and self-confidence. One of the notable scenes in the film involves Ellis trying to negotiate with terrorists led by Hans Gruber in an ill-fated attempt to save himself. Despite John McClane's warning not to trust Gruber, Ellis believes he can reach a deal. Unfortunately, their actions lead to dire consequences. The character of Harry Ellis is memorable with his charismatic but ultimately misguided character, adding a layer of suspense and complexity to the events unfolding in Die Hard. Born in Toronto in 1956, Hart Bachner is 67 years old in 2023.